Hey, Blake, Leo again. This is the video that I wanted to get sent over to you. Uh, again, it's got some tips for you that you can actually do yourself to help bring in more business using your Google Business Profile and or your website. And I'd love to hear some feedback from you. Again, the video is totally free and, and it, it's set up to help you out. Uh, and if you need help past that, feel free to reach out to me because I can be that resource for you. Uh, as you see, I got your website pulled up here. Love your logo. Um, and all, all in all, man, this is not a, not a bad site. Got your form submit up here. Uh, got your videos in here. Got some great pictures, great work. Yeah, it looks like you guys know what you're doing. And that and that's awesome because uh, that's the type of people I like to work with, people that I believe in. Um, so if I was to make uh, one suggestion for this website, the biggest suggestion would be to add more content. Google loves content. They send bots out 24-7 to crawl these sites to identify what they do. You know, the bots on crawl this site and they'll see roofing, they'll see remodeling. And then they're going to try to search and see where you actually do the roofing and remodeling at. So you want to make sure that you have uh, a minimum of 1500 words on your home page. Again, Google loves content. There was just an update that's really pushing the content. And throughout the content, you want to make sure that you're adding buyer intent keywords. Now, a buyer intent keyword is simply the service that you do. Uh, and the type of service that it is. So roofing, Mobile, Alabama, remodeling, Mobile, Alabama, new roof, uh, Mobile, Alabama, re-roof, Mobile, Alabama. The service that you do and the city that you do that service. So you want to make sure that you're really getting those in here in your headers, make sure they're throughout your content. You don't want to do too much. You know, it's it's a good form or it's a nice formula that that is X amount of words per X amount of keywords. Um, but it really is going to help the bots that crawl your site. It's going to help them identify what your site is. Now, you also want to make sure that you're saving uh, photos and videos as keywords as well, because photos and videos count as content. So again, new roof, Mobile, Alabama, something like that, instead of just what the numbers are saved on there screenshots, things like that, downloaded images, JPEG. Make sure that you're actually putting words behind these photos or in the alt text, and that's going to help those bots crawl because they don't see these awesome photos. They see what's behind these photos. So take advantage of that opportunity. Now, you've got your click to call up top along with your email. You know, sometimes people are a little nervous and they don't like calling. So having access to email up here is a great way to reach out to more customers. And then you got your form submit right here. Um, another contact us. So great job there. Now, Blake, what I've done is I have actually taken your website and put it into a tool I use called Eris. And what it's going to do is going to give me your Google Analytics and where you're setting. So right now you have a six UR and um, zero DR. Now this simply means the trust that your website has with Google. I'm sorry, the strength your website has with Google and the trust that your website has with Google. Uh, and this is a direct reflection of your backlinks. You know, the backlinks are the bread and butter. They are what powers these sites. They're what powers the keywords and they're what is ultimately going to push you up towards the top, get you on that first page. Now you've got 19 backlinks and eight referring domains. Again, these power the UR and DR. Now these are out of 100, so you want to make sure you continuously uh, move these numbers up and keep them balanced at the same time. Now a backlink is one website linking to another website via clickable button or text. But not all backlinks are created equal. Some are more spammy and some are more authoritative. So you really want to go after the backlinks that's more authoritative and relevant to your industry and that's local to you. Right now you're being indexed for 17 uh, organic keywords. And let's see what you got in here. See all the keywords you're being found for, they're already going to be looking for you. So you need things in here like re-roof, Mobile, Alabama, new roof, Mobile, Alabama, Mobile, Alabama, roofing. Things like that. And I'll show you that here in just a second. That was that other tab I had pulled up. I'll show you. Um, 
So you're not being indexed for any keywords that's really going to drive extra traffic. Anybody searching J&J &J services, J&J &J services, J&J &J roofing, you're going to pop up because that's the name of your company. So you really want to make sure that you get better keywords in here that people are searching for. So when someone searches Roofer Mobile Alabama, make sure that's in your content. The bots are going to see that Roofer Mobile Alabama and they're going to push you towards the top of the searches, start putting you in front of more customers' eyes. Now, of course, the way I found you is right here. I know you're paying for ads. I know ads can get expensive sometimes, but they're a good way to get business quickly. But again, once you stop paying for these ads, you're gone off this first page. And that's the importance of ranking organically. So here is your map pack, top three. They're the ones that's going to get the massive volume. Because when people come in, and even ads sometimes, people don't trust the ads. they much rather choose down here because they think these are the most trusted. In all actuality, they're the ones that have the best C uh, SEO. They're the ones that has the optimized photos, the optimized websites, the keywords, things like that. Now, for your Google business profile, you're not actually on the first page. You are on uh, page seven for Mobile Alabama Roofers. So... I had it pulled up here and it looks like you got, you know, 49 reviews, great reviews, uh, 210 photos. I tried to see what these photos were saved as. It just popped up as UV. So I'm not sure I wouldn't think being on the seventh page that they are geotagged and geolocated. Um, that is very important to be able to get pushed to that first page. Um, you want to make sure that you're constantly adding reviews. Everybody you work with, make sure that they're adding reviews for you. Uh, make sure your business name, address, and phone number is the exact same all across the internet because you do not want to mislead Google. Now, there's a 750 character about us section down here. You want to make sure that you're filling this out to the fullest, all 750 characters. And don't forget to add keywords in that as well. Again, you want to make sure you're posting geotagged and geo located photos each week because that's going to show Google where you do services um, and it's really going to help you expand. Now you want to make sure that you're adding as many citations as you can and a citation is just your business name, address, and phone number in directories like yellow pages, white pages, yex, yelp, things like that because <laughs> honestly it's just a big popularity contest. So you want to make sure that you're getting your information out to as many directories as possible. And what it does is going to start working on that trust, that uh, DR is going to make Google trust you more. And then that's just not in your area, but that's in surrounding areas as well. Being in the Google Map Pack is going to give you about 30 to 40 percent of searches that come to your website. Then they'll give you a call from there. Now, this is organics. This is where you're going to get 60 to 70 percent of your business. Uh, we don't count the um, ads and the home advisor things like that. So this is the number one uh, company in organics. And as you see, no content. So implementing having more content on your website than theirs, you can start to outrank them while adding the content, the backlinks, the citation, things like that. Now, what I've actually done is pulled up this um, list of keywords right here. I wanted to show you this. This is the whole reason I even reached out to you is because I've seen that there's massive volume in your area and the keyword difficulty is very low. Now, the keyword difficulty is up to 100. So the higher the number, the harder it is to rank. The lower the number, the easier it is to rank. Um, so you got... Roofing Companies Mobile Alabama's 500 searches with a 2KD. Roofers Mobile Alabama, 350, 2KD, 300, 200, um, 150. You know, there's well over 2,000 searches here that can be added to your website. And then once these words are added to your website with the correct amount of content around them, you're going to start, you're going to start gaining rank on these other guys and you're going to be a real factor in the SEO game. Um, and this is the number one competitors. This is their UR, DR. Look at the backlinks they have. Look at the traffic that's getting dro drove to their website each month um, because they have a, a more optimized website because of these backlinks. Again, these are the cream of the crop. So, Blake, I hope you enjoyed the 
hope you enjoyed the video. I hope uh, I was able to explain everything well. Um, didn't want to rush this. I just wanted to get it out to you and show you the massive volume that you can be taking advantage of there in your area. Again, my name is Leo Arona um, from Arona Marketing. Respond to the email. You've got my number. Give me a call however you like. Uh, I just love some kind of feedback. Um, so again, you see there's decent volume here. Once you start ranking, a percentage of this volume is going to go to your website. Then a percentage of those are going to give you a call. And then depending on your close rate, you can turn all these people into customers. Have a great day, Blake. Hope to hear from you soon.